In a far-off land, there was a small village nestled in a valley surrounded by mountains. The villagers were hard-working and self-sufficient, with their own farms and businesses. They were content and happy, but they had no idea that their easy times were about to end. One day, a horde of barbarians descended from the mountains, raiding and pillaging the village. The villagers were caught off guard and could not defend themselves. The barbarians took everything they could get their hands on, leaving the villagers in ruins. In the aftermath, the villagers realized the harsh truth. They had become weak and complacent. They had grown accustomed to their easy times and had not prepared themselves for tough times. They had no warriors to defend them, no weapons to fight with, and no plan to protect their village. But there was one man in the village who had always been different. He was not content with an easy life, he trained hard and honed his skills. He was determined to become a warrior, even when everyone else thought it was unnecessary. This man saw the destruction and despair that the village had fallen into and knew that he had to act. He rallied the villagers, trained them to fight, and together they rebuilt their village. They prepared themselves for any future attacks and made sure that they would never be caught off guard again. Years passed, and the village prospered once more. The man who had become their leader knew that they could never let their guard down. He reminded the villagers about the fact that Tough times create strong men. Strong men create easy times. Easy times create weak men. Weak men create tough times. He knew that they had to continue to be warriors, not parasites, if they were to survive. And so, the village became known throughout the land for their strength and resilience. They inspired other villages to follow their example and prepare themselves for any future hardships. They had learned that it is not enough to enjoy easy times. One must always be ready to face tough times. And that, my friend, is the message of this story, be a warrior, not a parasite.